and we're going to be taking a look at the Asus Blu-ray Writer and this is the BW16D1HT. Right, so we're just going to have a look at the box first. Um, usually when I buy a drive it doesn't really come in a box, just, um, just a brown box at the most. But this is actually packaged, um, official, official packaging, so it does come with a bundle. Um, yeah, so I need a new Blu-ray writer, so as we can have a look, so it does come with s software, so it comes with Nero back it up, BDXL support, um, well that's not software, so this, yeah, so you can write this um, up to 128 gigabytes on one disc, so you probably have to buy them this somewhere, I've, no, I've not seen them, but probably can get them. M disc support, so these discs apparently last for a thousand years. <laughs> what are you going to do in a thousand years' time on a disc? I wonder, I don't know. Disc encryption, double data security. Okay. Free unlimited web storage for six months. Well, I don't need that because I've got plenty of hard drive um, space, so I don't need to be backing up anything on other servers. So, what's this power to go? Eight, so that's a piece of software. I've got my own software, so I don't need to use what comes with um, this. So I just want the drive itself. So it supports Windows 10. Good. All right, so let's have a look at the read and write speed. You can probably see that if you can make out. So blue. Hang on a minute. Why does it say 12 speed? And on here it says 16 speed. 16 times, so I don't understand that. Oh, that's read. Okay, so it can read 12 times. That's um, BDR-ROM. And if you can see the specs on that, obviously you can't I'll have to read them out. And on the other side, DVD oh, these are all the DVDs, CD specs. Um, I've got a separate DVD writer for that, so I don't really need to worry about it. It's just the Blu-rays that I'm worried about. Blu-ray E, R, E, read it, rewritable eight times. B, D, R, ROM, D, L, eight times. Um, B, D, R, E, D, L, hang on, R, R, E, and that's our ROM up there, all right, six times. B, D, I can't really see that. So, R, oh, right, okay. That's B, uh, I can't, oh, my eyes are going, that's R-T-L-Q-L, six times, B-D-R-L-T-H, six times, and B-D-R-E-T-L, four times, B-D-M, B-D-M-V, A-A-C-S, compatible disc, S-L-D-L, 12 times, eight times, then you go to DVD. If you, you, it's not important to worry about the DVD because you probably know pretty n now what um, DVD, DVD read speeds. These are read speeds, by the way. These are write speeds down here. BDR 16 times, BDR R DL 12 times, BDR TL QL 6 times, BDR S L L T H 6 times, BDR E S L D L T L two times, B D plus minus R sixteen times. No, that's DVD. Don't worry about DVD. Interface is SATA, of course. Right. So you don't have to. What is? If you can see that, you can read that yourself. Um, right. Nero, back it up for Android. Would I be worrying about that? No. But if you want, you have got that facility there. M D support. Right. We know about that. BDXL, so that's um, Ultra, I'm guessing that's Ultra Blu-ray, isn't it? Oh, UHD, I don't know if you can burn UHD discs. Um, well, I don't know if we'll know, but it's there. I suppose you've got that option if you can burn um, BD, um, UHD. I don't know about that password. Yeah, that's... Okay, it's not that important to me. I just want the drive, so let's unbox it and see what we get. Right, okay. Let's take it all out. So, so we get um, 
a look at the drive last. So, let's open it up. So, what do we get in the, um, in the bag here? So, obviously we get, it looks like a drive, well no, there's no driver disc. Don't need drivers for that. So it's just additional software, so we get power to go 8, power back up 2.5, Nero back up, back it up, and E Green, Asus firmware update. Right, so as I say, I probably won't need that because I've got I've got my own software. So to call disk drive, so this is probably oh my god, it's a lot of instructions, probably just to install it on, what's this, optical warranty card in 18 languages, so we don't have to worry about that. Um, quick guide installation, I know how to install them. Um, if you know, if you build computers, and you probably have installed a drive once or twice before, it's not hard. And what's all this, you know, back it up, not worried, and what's this? declaration of whatever and you get four screws that's handy so you can put it in your computer don't have to worry about looking for screws you've already got some provided here all right let's have a look at the main thing itself it doesn't come with any SATA cables so you'll have to if you haven't got any you'll have to provide your own um, SATA cable so I Probably be SATA 2 or SATA 3. So here we are. So Blu ray, E Green, here we can see that, and it supports M disc as you say, as it says. Just a basic drive there. So that'll be where you plug your SATA cable in. That's your SATA um, power, which will be on your um, uh, power supply. So you don't have to worry about that. You just might have to just buy a um, an extra power, uh, an extra data cable, SATA 3 or SATA 2. Um, they're not much money anyway. Um, and there it is. So what we'll do, we'll put it in the computer and you can have a look and see if it works. We'll see if it works. It's a quick comparison. So this was my old um, Blu-ray writer. It was the Pioneer. I can't remember the model now. And that's the new Asus. And you can see it's a little bit Oh, a little bit smaller, a little bit thinner rather. Um, it doesn't go back as far, so about the same size as a standard DVD writer. So take that into consideration. Okay, I'm going to install it now. Right, now we've got it installed. Only took about a minute. Um, the case is pretty quick to take it out. There's no screws involved in this case. It's just um, a, like a, you put it in, click a thing, and it just locks it in position. So that's good, so now let's switch it on. Oh, this one's the LED on this one's blue. That's nice, because if the top one's green, the bottom one's blue. So that's nice, let's just eject it. So that's a good start, it ejects. Yeah, nice, at least it goes with the DVD drive now. Let's just insert a disc. I'm gonna put the driver disc in, or well, I'll say the driver disc, it ain't drivers, because um, dri these drives, DVD, CD, Blu-ray drives don't require any drivers anyway. So we'll just see if it all is working. And what we'll do, we'll just have to... Yep, that sounds pretty good. Yep, so we just click on that as you can see. Yep, here we are. So there's a well software firmware up update. Let's have a look at that if you wanted to. Uh, you can go through that, I'm not going to go through that at the moment. Um, so you've got your power, <laughs> e-green, power, do I need it? As I say I'm not going to bother with none of this because I don't need it. So I say I've got my own software here. So that's it. So that's um, the drive. Yeah. Um, obviously, I ain't got nothing to burn on it at the moment, um, so I ain't made no HD movies. But you know, it's there if I need it. And as I say, I had to replace because the door, the drawer was sticking on my old one. So 
that's the reason why I replaced it. Anyway, thank you so much for watching, till next time, and goodbye.